Hey everyone, this is more of my Liverpool career mode here on FIFA 21. And as you can see, we are going to start things off here in the Champions League against our old club, Al Maria. And just to take a look at the round of 16 uh, fixtures here real quick in the Champions League. Okay, we got Hertha versus PSG, Roma versus Atletico, Bar our former club Bayern versus Lyon. Man City versus Milan. Manchester United taking on our other uh, former club, uh, Juventus. Sociedad takes on Dortmund. I don't know why we couldn't have got drawn up against Dortmund, to be honest with you. I really don't want, did not want to play on Maria again. And Leipzig takes on Madrid. But before we continue on, hopefully you guys have an awesome day today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. And as you guys probably figured, I did absolutely nothing during the, the uh, January transfer window. But I do want to show you guys that I did not only beat Crystal Palace in Round 3 FA Cup. I also beat Birmingham City in Round 4 of the FA Cup. And I did advance to the Carabao Cup Final, which will be featured in this episode. As a matter of fact, that's going to be the first game we play today is the Carabao Cup Final. We're going to sim these two games against Al Maria and Manchester United. And we are going to play the games against Tottenham. Wolves in this home fixture against Almeria, and then we'll sim this match against West Brom. But, um, yeah, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and sim this. I normally don't like to sim away matches in the first leg, but considering that we've already played against this team numerous times, I'm going to go ahead and sim the first leg here and see what happens. Let's see what kind of team they're rocking here. Got uh, Sanjo, Soinsu, Hermoso, Mezraoui. Which Mizrawi they must have picked up this year. Puric, Pjanic, Cunha, Rossi, Gonzalez. I don't know which Gonzalez that is. I wonder if that's um, the Gonzalez we had as um, Cam or if that's Nicolas Gonzalez, the guy that we had at Saarbrücken. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and sim this match. And we go to Anfield with a 3-1 advantage. Thomas, um, Jesus, and Diaz end up getting uh, goals for us. Gonzalez gets a goal for them. He equalized a minute after Diaz scored. Sanjo is unavailable for them in the second leg, which is going to be big for us. And then hopefully we can take carry on this good form against Manchester United. But the way I figure, if if we're fortunate enough, we should have a title celebration for each of the remaining episodes here in this career mode. And as you can see, we have a 17-point lead over Manchester City on, on top of the table with 12 games remaining, so... 36 more points to play for. We are far from, well, we're not too far from clinching the Premier League title, but we're not, we're not quite there yet. And depending on what happens to this game against Manchester United, they could cut our lead. Okay, we're going to go ahead and send this match because I do want to hurry up and get to the Carabao Cup final. And of course we lose. I had a feeling we were going to lose that match. Darn. So, if Manchester City wins their match, they're only going to be 14 points behind us now. That is not ideal. And I think for the... Cabo Cup, not only am I going to put Karius in there, I think I'm going to have him as captain. And then Diaz is suspended for this match. I mean, he's not going to be on here anyway. I'm playing with my second team. So that's probably why we lost the last match. I didn't get to, I didn't even pay attention. I just noticed that we lost, which doesn't does not make me happy if I'm being brutally honest.
But we are gonna send ahead here to the Carabao Cup final. Didn't really particularly care about winning this cup, but hey, it is another trophy. And then we'll be playing the match against Wolves as well. I wonder if what's his face is done being trained as a rate. How long is it gonna take this guy? Okay, one more week. Wow, okay. Okay, Leo Bacon. Great name. Tell him we got bigger games coming up. He is now at an 88 rating alongside Barella. But yeah, he didn't quite turn out to be the hero for Newcastle in that last year's Carabao Cup in real life. But hopefully in this save, he will be the hero for us here. And he is, well, no he isn't. Um, Chamberlain is our lowest rated player at an 80, but... You can see they got um, Raul Jimenez, Human Son, Los Celso, Gelson Martins, Dennis Sicaria, Fabian, Digne, Matip, uh, Gigo, Ioma, whoever that is. And then um, I'm thinking that's uh, Vilmer Benitez in, in goal. You know what? No. I'll, I'll keep thinking. As long as it's not raining, I don't care. It's not overcast, but it is cloudy, but I don't care about that, but... We're going to go ahead and play this match. Now, our next Premier League match is against West Brom. If we lose that one, then I'm kind of I'm going to start to worry a little bit. But the good thing is we'll be going up against Manchester City, so we should be able to get our cushion back then. But as you can see, our, um, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is a featured player here. And I will, um, after this video, I will be, after the second leg of the, uh, Champions League against Almeria, the next time I see you guys will be the first leg of the quarterfinals, should we advance. If not, we'll just resume things against Crystal Palace. You can see how both teams got here. Tottenham beat Leicester, Cardiff, and Everton to get here. We had to beat some pretty big names along the way. But here we are, our second trip to Wembley here in this career mode. Of course, the first time was in the Community Shield, which we beat Chelsea. Harvey Elliott. I see Darwin Nunez in his pace. Darwin Nunez. I just realized something too. Should we win this as well as the? Uh... Oh come on! <laughs> stay... I don't know why you didn't stay on your feet, Nunez. I really don't. I don't like floppers on my team. I don't. I should actually bench you because of that. That's just poor sportsmanship. But yeah, like I was gonna say, should we win all the trophies? We'll be winning a quintuple here for Liverpool. Something Jurgen Klopp has not done during his tenure as Liverpool manager. Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump to Sim now. Union! <laughs> I think that was Harry Wilson with the attempt there. Who is Everton? Not Everton. Tottenham having a on their bench. Let's see. Gazaniga, Kempembe, Bergvine. 
Bruel Mbolo, a guy that's familiar with on the Cerebro and Career Mode. Nico Schultz, Town Coke Miners, Truly Barton for Union Berlin and FIFA 23, and Antoine Griezmann on the bench. Looks like we didn't bring our finishing shoes today. Come on, guys. We're doing a good job staying in this side of the pitch. It's just we're not doing much with the ball. Let me... Let me see. Some, something's got to... No. The settings are how I want it. I don't know why we're not doing anything with the ball. Okay, we're maintaining. We're trying to get back. Move forward, please. Thank you. Come on, guys. I don't know why Harvey Elliott didn't move forward. And why are we playing Tiki Taka with high side there, Elliott? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some changes. Because I don't really care about how we're playing right now. Um, let's see. Elliot's actually a highest rated player, but I would not know it by the way he's playing. Hmm. Okay, Kanate could come off for Upa Meccano. And I'm going to replace Ox with Barella. I thought Barella was at an 88, but no, he's still at an 87. Which means Saul was our highest rated midfielder in our team, which he's not even on the bench here. But something needs to happen for us here. Something needs to happen for us here, guys. Something needs to happen for us. One more goal would make me feel comfortable because, like they say in football, 2 nothing lead is the most dangerous lead you can have. Do, do not let them have a sniff. Come on, come on, come on. No. Number three, number three, number three. Why are you letting them... Who's number three? Upa McConaughey, you just came on. Move forward. Who's number 11? Barella, you just... Why am I... Uh-oh, this is going to be 2-1. Yep. So far, both my substitutions have been ass so far, and I'm not appreciating it. I don't understand why we're not moving forward more. Okay, I'm jumping in. I want to make sure we have... The, uh, Good thing this isn't the first team. I don't know why our second team is so afraid to move forward. I don't know why, how that's not offside, but what? And once again, our, our crossing is ass. Let's try this again. I'm not even celebrating that. I might not have. I might have to switch from balance to four or runs or something because this team is absolutely 
afraid to move forward in, in a sim. But we are going to win the Carabao Cup, though, rather unconvincingly. I mean, def on the defensive side of things, we weren't too bad, but the attack was just not having it today. And I don't understand why. I, I have my settings set where they're supposed to move forward. Yeah, I don't know what their deal is, but I'm not liking it. They see Kamara, who, who, he and Jesus have been whining about game time all season. But yeah, this was far from a decent performance in, in terms of the offense. And Karius will be lifting the trophy. Made a big stop in the first half. Couldn't stop Raul Jimenez from scoring in the second half, but... He did all right. He did all right. I can't complain. As Luis Carius lifts the Carabao Cup for Liverpool. Like I said, a trophy that I was not anticipating lifting. I honestly did not really care much about this cup. But hey, silverware is silverware. I might have to check the instructions of my players because, especially with my second team, because I don't know why they were hell bent up just passing the ball amongst once and one of my, especially High Sai and Elliot. I don't know what that was at the earlier on the second half, but actually it was the end of the first half. But yeah, defensively, we weren't too bad other than us giving that opportunity to Jimenez, which allowed Tottenham to score. But on the offensive side of the ball, I don't know what this what this team was... I don't know what their idea was. It didn't seem like they had any ideas on offense. But you can see... The stats, did they make any? Yeah, uh, Bergwijn came on for Human Son. Not, honestly, not even sure who I would give. I, I definitely would not give it to Harvey Elliott. I don't know how he has a perfect 10 rating. I don't know who I would give man in the match to. It'd have to be probably my entire defense. Because I wouldn't give it to anybody else. But anyway, we go from the Carabao Cup to the FA Cup, which we are going back to our second team for the, our first team for that. We only get 120 grand for the Carabao Cup. That's that's ridiculous. And I'm also going to play. I think I'm going to play the second team at home against Almeria as well. So I'll be playing this game against Wolves with my first team, and I'm going to be simming the match at home against West Brom with my first team. I swear, if we if we draw points against West, West Brom, I'm gonna start to worry. Okay, let's see what kind of team Wolves are rocking here. I'm gonna keep the kits on as is. They got Adama Traore, Buadu up front. They still got Diego Jota up here. I, which I think is kind of weird. Rabio, okay. I just Rob, they got Rabio, a player that we managed at Juve. Uh, okay, we end up selling the Wolves. Todibo, Zagadu, Yerai. Awesome center back trio right there. Johnny Doherty up front. Alvin LaFont in goal. You know what? We just won the Carabao Cup. I want clear skies. Well, it's nighttime. 
I didn't even realize that. We have Gabriel Jesus, our featured player here. See Koke, a guy that we did have on this team, but we ended up selling. Makes the start, uh, starting lineup for Wolves here. But we are here at the Molyneux um, team that we've beaten before in the Premier League. Hopefully we can get another W against them here. Knock them out of the fifth round of the FA Cup. I'm sorry if you hear me swallowing a lot. It just, it just feels like there's something in my throat. But we are in the uh, round of 16. And then Koke, the game's telling us that he is a familiar face because we did ha he was a Liverpool player at the beginning of the season. Not only did he we sell him to Wolves, but he has the captain's armband. And he does go along with the policy of signing players from the Iberian Peninsula. Which for those of you who may or may not know, it, it consists of Spain and Portugal. There we go. Federico Chiesa opens up the scoring for us here, if I can speak English. So we have no problems getting on Adama Traore. Okay, crossing seems to be That did not look offside to me. Maybe, maybe it was, I don't know. I have to look at the footage again, but maybe it was just... Maybe it was, I don't know. I scored that goal 100 times before and they didn't mark it offside, so I'm kind of wondering why they would now. Got Saul. Yeah, it seems like I've scored that goal in similar fashion before and they never caught offside, so... Yeah, I don't know what the story with that is. Oh. Okay, Luis Diaz. Would be perfect for this Wolves team. That is Barella. I should know who that is by now. But he doesn't have a real game. I would know him by his real game face. But um, Diego Jota, not quite sold to Liverpool in this save. Um, he ends up getting a consolation for them. Okay, Blackburn, Leicester, Spurs, Huddersfield, Man City, Arsenal. Some of the players that we could be facing in the quarterfinals. Nottingham Forest beat Cardiff. That could be another team we could be facing. Okay, you, okay, guys, you've come off a win. Let's not drop points again. Please. Okay, yeah, they cut our lead down to... to although it looks like they dropped... It looks like they lost the last match, so... If we win this, we'll, be at, we'll go back up to 17 points. And we are up against Leicester here in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Please do not drop points. Please do not drop points. OK, 
Okay, that's not a good team at all. We are at home. Of course, we did lose to Aston Villa earlier in the season, and they were dead last. Yeah, 5-0. I kind of figured we wouldn't lose that. Chiesa with brace, Salt, Luis Diaz, and Gabriel Jesus with goals. But anyway, we are through. We are on to the champion. We're not through with the Champions League yet. We still got business to take care of against Almeria. Who? Last time I checked, we're in seventh position in the in La Liga. So not only are they in danger of not qualifying for the Champions League, they're in danger of not qualifying for a European competition at all because the Conference League wasn't a thing yet in this FIFA. Oh crap, I, I meant to... Yeah, I want my second team up there, not my first team. I'll put Allison in goal. I think one goal should do it for us here. Okay, they, any changes from last time? They got Haustenberg in there instead of Alexandro. Oh, that's because Alexandro's suspended for the first leg. But we are going to be hosting our old club here at Almeria. The Spanish side in danger of failing to qualify past the round of 16 for the third consecutive year. After we led them to Champions League glory in Season 2 of our journeyman career mode. Yeah, we might not even see this team at all in the Champions League next year. He's focusing on Partey because he was a member of this Almeria side whenever I started the um, Almeria save, which ended up being the start of this journeyman save. Make some noise as our teams today enter the field. You can see how the knockout phase is looking. Thank you, Anfield. Enjoy the match. Sure we will. Although, only thing, all I really need is one goal. Darwin Nunez, former Almeria player. Now, if we blow this, there's something wrong. Which we don't. Ox adds a goal in the same minute. I don't know how that works, but... We have eliminated all Maria. PSG has gone through. Okay, let's see. Uh, Roma eliminated Atletico. Lyon knocked out our former club, Bayern. Uh, we don't know. So, two of our former clubs have been eliminated from the Champions League. Juve, they're down 2 to 1 against Manchester United, so there's a chance that they'll be eliminated as well. So our former team's not doing too good in the Champions League. But we are going to call it there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sim forward and see if we got if we know who we're going to be facing in the Champions League. And I will pick things up there. Check like we don't know yet, but it should be sometime soon. But yeah, next time I see you guys, you will find out immediately who will be facing the Champions League. Hope you guys looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoying the series so far. I'll be see you guys again next time.